Do, do, do. Let's see if I can get this up. I don't know why I have such a hard time with this every single time. Blood rage. There we go. Let's see if I can get this up. I don't know why I have such a hard time with this every single time. Blood rage. There we go. Let's see if I can get this up. one way to do it. Turn off. There we go. Okay. If you guys can hear me, I'm going to make this kind of quick because I just kind of want to finish up what I was working on. And um, I had started a part one of an entire series, but I got an ill. I had a whole bunch of stuff going on and um, I kind of wanted to just kind of go over um, basically everything I've done, touch up some of the things that I am doing. Um, let me just fix this so I could see that live. See this. Okay. Uh, all right. So if somebody has come. So if you guys have any comments, I wanted to answer them before I decided that this was going to be it for blood rage now this is my fifth set of painting this so i've got it down to pretty much a science um i see a lot of people do the really fancy bases but i choose not to do the bases um i gotta try to get a good zone here i'm also working on alien versus predator uh, the hunt begins for Saturday because we're going to be doing a live playthrough of that. But um, if you notice, I just paint these uh, bases black, and there's a reason for that. Um, the reason is is that when I seen them, I, I actually had painted and put grass and all that stuff on them. But when you put these little things on them, uh, such as these things on them, it after a while the wear and tear pushed them in and out starts taking the grass out so i didn't think that was very cool can anybody hear me by the way no okay all right so this is always something that you can watch later um first thing is i've gotten this guy done all he's done with is a uh a Keslev flesh with a Riken flesh guard um, a wash, um, gray stone. I use a v, uh, XV88 or a bittersweet chocolate, just in case. Oh, goodness. I've got to work on this camera, too. Make sure that we get... Um, again, this is a test run to see how this goes. Um, I painted all the gold lace and, uh, of course, the bone for him. So he's done, ready to be done. This guy, I've seen him done a lot. And uh, while we're here, I've got to finish up. I'm going to use a Troll Slayer orange on him. And all I'm going to do... Is I'm going to take my trusty rag wherever I put put it. Um, boy, I'm just a mess today trying to do 500 things at once. Um, when I had it, hmm. well, let's see what did I do with it. I didn't throw it in the box over here. And, oh well, I'll just get some paper towels. Bear with me for a minute. 
So I'm going around the other side here. And these guys are just about ready to be. Uh, thanks, old Dan. How are you? Um, all I'm going to do is just take a little bit of this orange. And that's all I want to do is just get a little. And I actually want to wipe as much as I humanly can off on this paper towel. And all I want to do is just get a nice, just a little bit. But I don't want to take out the red. And sometimes you can just dot over that a little bit. I'll take a little bit more. This is actually a Troll Slayer orange from uh, Citadel. I got a whole bunch of Citadel paints for Christmas, so that was pretty good. And I want to get the end parts here. Now, it doesn't look like much. And I'm going to work on the lighting for this, especially since I see that it's kind of not cutting it a lot. Uh, let's see. There we go. Maybe that'll help a little bit better. And all I want to do is just kind of very lightly get that in there. But not hitting too much of that sword. Because we want to give it that fire effect a little bit. There we go. Got my bucket of water over here. And uh, like I said, I'm working on two projects at once here. Uh, the kids want to play a Alien vs. Predator, and it actually looks pretty good. I will tell you this much, though. These miniatures for this thing are very, very much. They're very nice. But they are a complete, well, let's see if I can get that focused in a bit. Um, they're a complete pain in the neck to, work, to put together. And they're very soft. You see how bendy they are? Not very cool. So now that I got that done, I just want to take a little bit of this. This is a flash gets yellow. And virtually do the same thing. Just get a little bit in there. And just kind of ever so lightly hit the high points. And you can see we're starting to get that flame effect. Because the whitest part of fire is the hottest. There we go. And we just want to get that so it stands out a little bit. And we have that flame coming off there pretty good. So that pretty much puts him where we want to have him. The only thing I need to do is do the eyes, and I haven't decided what his eyes are going to be. And I've got another brush for that, but we'll decide on that very shortly. Uh, let's see. Next thing I wanted to show you guys was the other monster. And as you can see, we've got him all situated. Like I said, I'm going to buy myself a very, very good camera. And that way I'll be able to really get some detail in here. In here, I just took a little pink into his mouth. That's kind of hard to see. Uh, let me just fix this light. Because I haven't fixed my, my, lights, my lighting situation yet. Because I just bought some new bulbs. Ah, there we go. And uh, there. That's a little bit better. Just got to work out. So we don't lose the fogginess. But I took a little pink in there. And I work a little pink 
on the edges of his mouth so you get good detail there kind of hard to see yellow eye everything shaded lightly this is a salamander i mean this is a stegodon scale green and over it i just took a light gray to it and then build out the water if you watched any of my videos you've seen me uh um really pull it out there so that's no monster number one number two and number three thanks let's see it looks great let me just open this up so I can oh, hold on just trying to open this up so I can see here looks great got to get me some more vibrant colors yeah um, you know you just build at it slowly and I think that's the most important thing that you can ever do is you know to build your collection slowly buy a paint when you when you can now finally for the monsters we have um this oh boy i don't know why it keeps on getting foggy on me here or out of focus this guy here is again a um a stegodon scale green but what i did is i took a blue wash um and went over the over it all with a blue wash and that's where i'm getting these details in the stomach then i took a gray a very light gray a matter of fact it was a gray um a gray sky gray americana i took and i watered that down a little bit okay maybe if i do this oh there we go if i keep my hands not from the camera because that's what's screwing everything up and i just took and i just work that gray into his hair so it gives it that fine pushed out detail there then these gold bands the rock i did uh with just black and then a dark gray and then just a touch of white so we've got our four monsters there the boats very simple um this is for a five player game um um, the set comes with four players, but I did it so uh, I can do it for five players, um, particularly for this person. Thanks, Sean. Uh, does take a lot of work, that's for sure. I'm tired of Blood Bowl already, almost as much as I am at <laughs> everything else. Um, these are part of the expansion. This comes with the set, as you can see. Um, it's a lot of flesh. Um, I used uh, Reichland, uh, a Retribution armor, gold for the tips here, lead belcher for the silver. I used a, I can show you, it is a folklore apple spice for the red because I didn't want a very deep red here. So I kind of used a lightened up red. Um, the back here is just a, that chocolate brown let's take a look at that the bittersweet chocolate as you see it's nice and dark and it really does a lot of things with it now i use the bittersweet dark but because i didn't want them all blend together and hopefully i can bring this up here without it getting to there uh, i had it what do i gotta do here Bear with me, folks. I'm just trying to get used to doing this. Is that what I got to do? No. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, oh, just when I have it, I lose it. Well, why don't we just back off here a bit? And boy, oh boy, I'm not winning here. It's almost like it wants to focus, but it doesn't. Um, hmm. oh, there, there we go. That's what we're looking for. So let me very carefully. I took that bittersweet chocolate and worked it in there, but then on top of it, I know, I know, Andreas, it is really bitching me. It's because, you know, I, I went out and bought a brand new camera for a hundred bucks just for live uh, playthroughs and stuff like that. And yeah, it does 1080 but it has no focus i actually have to get a really good good camera and i um 
and I'll really kind of square things away. But all this is, is that gray sky gray in there. And just taking your brush, just putting very little on there and just very lightly going over the tops. And that'll give you that wolf type of look there. Uh, let's see, who else did we do here? All right, we kind of, yeah, that's what I got to do, make it the closest thing. As you can see, the horns on these guys make it the closest thing to the camera. Come on. Stop doing this to me. Ah, there we go. So here, again, that candy apple red. We just took our silvers. We have a nice little wash in here. We took our silvers over the top. We took our red for the the headdress here um we worked that 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 brown in there very very well and we lightened it up and then of course in the back like last time we did the same thing with the fur uh who else do i got in here um now when i originally did these guys i actually did them with green dresses and uh i'm just gonna pull this guy back but i made sure i did i took the man the manual and i they had the blue outfit with the gray hair i had it black with green <laughs> what are you gonna do uh let's see who else i changed him to a green he needed to be changed uh, this is the leader. Let's see if I can get this guy to focus. Not this camera. Really doing me on. Boy, I'll tell you. I am just not winning today. All right, there. Uh, um, hmm. Do I do that? No. I'm going to get this camera figured out before next time okay so this is just green in here uh with the gold um a lot of armor with a gold i mean with the green in dress and then again we cleaned up everything and we bronzed everything out the handles uh we used a bone up top here okay that helped a lot when i did that and of course, this is another one of those, even though this cool mini or not thing is nice. I mean, look at this. This is why I like Games Workshop stuff. It really, it doesn't get as bendy as it does. I'm sorry for the camera issues here, but um, this is the first time I'm trying to do this. Um, the silver, the blue, Silver, we made this a gold dress with the red. There may be a way to lock focus. Autofocus is not always the best thing. Yeah, well, the thing is, it's a, it has a Windows built-in driver, so I can't seem to lock it, so it's really causing me bedlam. So I'm going to just try to finish up and show things from a distance here as I redid these guys. Um, so it's not that horrible. Here's the um, the bear dudes here. You always wanted to take and make you know these a different color here, as you can see. So it doesn't contrast and it just becomes one big brown mess. And I wanted to leave this brown pretty dark. I didn't want to highlight the bear skin too much because I didn't want it to contrast so much with the wolf's uh, skin. And so when you're playing the game, you can tell that there's a difference here. So that's why this is darker and this is lighter. Because that was one of the complaints that I got with the first time I did this was everything kind of contrasted with itself. Uh, well, that's pretty much all these guys. As you can see, just really trying to make some variants here so it all fits together. Now all I got to do is just basically get this all packed up. And uh, you'll be seeing this at the live 24-hour playthrough 
uh, with Tom Vassell because this is actually Tom's set. So I just wanted to go through and just touch up a few things, go over everything. Um, I'm going up there tomorrow night. Uh, I might do a film video on my way down there. As you can see, I really tried to make it a little nicer. I took, I originally painted his set, but when I saw the actual insides of the box, because all he did was send me the actual figures, so I had to come up with the color scheme uh, in September without even seeing the box set. Let's see. Uh, is this Tom's? Uh, is this Tom's set or for the charity? No, this is a uh, Tom set. Um, this is the one that I'm taking uh, with me to Homestead tomorrow. Um, um, which we call it. Um, this is. I actually painted it once, and then I took it back from him when I was up there last time because I wasn't happy with my paint job, and he let me take it against much distress. Uh, the thing that I did add to it was the five-player set. Let me get that. Let me show you. Because we were going to have a bunch of people, so I told them I would paint while I was taking it, I would take and bring out the expansion, which is actually uh, these guys here, the green team. Um, I've yet to play this game. I, <laughs> I painted a bunch of sets for charity. Um, so I'm in the middle of doing that as well as, yep, aliens versus predators. So I've got to get these done by Saturday because we're doing a live playthrough of that. So the kids are pretty excited. Tom said someone was painting his set in the Q&A today. Yeah, well, guess what? That'd be me. I do all Tom's painting pretty much lately uh, between me and Sam. But most of the time, I'm the only one that'll say, oh, yeah, I'll get it done <laughs> and have it done on time. When he needs it, it's ready. So we've never had a problem with that. So uh, it was just kind of a neat thing I wanted to try out to see if this would uh, actually work out. Like I said, I wasn't happy with it. And if I'm not happy with something, I will redo it. Um, you know, I try to do the best I can. Um, no, like I said, I've always said I'm not a professional, but I will explain things and be able to tell you guys and point you guys in the right direction. And you guys can learn a lot from my mistakes. And that's for sure. And that's, that's the one thing I really try to accomplish with this is to really get it. So you guys understand it and uh, we go over it and, and do it. I'm definitely going to get a better, find a way to auto lock this so I can make sure I don't lose you guys on this stuff. Uh, so it was a lot of figures. I got it done pretty quick um, after I stripped all the paint, which took me about a week, and then redid it. Um, like I said, I wanted to leave these bases completely black because of the way those those things go on. I've seen people really do some nice bases on it, but when I tried to do it, because this plastic, uh, let me see if there's one that I can do. It's very bendy. This is, and you can see it. It's, it's just a very cheap plastic. You see, Cool Mini or not has some great sculpts. And um, what I did a trick with the hot water and ice, and everything was fine. But after painting them, a lot of the injuries are bent again. Do you think doing the trick again will kill my paint? Absolutely. Uh, it will definitely do it. Um, it's a funny thing. Hey, hi, everybody. Hi, man. Uh, You're inspiring a lot of us to paint minis again. I don't know about that after seeing them, after when I went through the, with this paint job. Um, I am actually, the funny thing is I'm going to do that 24-hour thing. When it is done, I am driving home, straight home. So I'll be up for about 24 hours, drive home four hours. I'm going to sleep for six. Then I'm going to paint this Alien versus Predator. I'm going to try to get it completely done for Saturday night. So when you guys see that playthrough, my son, who is cutting me a break, I told him, I go, listen, if you want to play the game, you got to learn the game. Um, he is actually uh, learning the rules to it. 
So, and he's got it about 90% done. This game really looks good. And that's why we pushed off Dungeon Saga because we really think you guys are going to like this game. The funny thing about it is how many of you have played uh, Space Hulk out there? Can I see some hands, please? Me. <laughs> Whenever you played Space Hulk, what's the first thing that you always think? Wow, this reminds me of Aliens. Well, guess what? Now you got Aliens and Predators versus Marines, and the first thing you think about is, hey, this reminds me of Space Hulk. It's kind of like a complete oxymoron. Um, and Pete, thank you so much. Um, let's see. So we got these main guys all taken care of. So I'm, I'm quite happy with them. The bear guys, we've got everything separated. See, here's another one. You, you just can't help what happens here. Oh, the first edition. See, the first edition was the best because they had it where they had the, uh, hybrids and then you can have the, um, oh God, what was the Gene Steeler leader name? Oh God. He was really, really nasty. He was like, uh, he was like the librarian of them or whatever, the commander. That game with the expansions, because you were able to get Deathwing and everything else. That's the one thing I don't like about this one, this new set, the third edition or fourth edition, whatever they want to call it, is you don't have Deathwing. You don't have all the different variants and cool stuff that you did with this. See, everybody wants to talk all oh, cool minis are not great minis. Yeah, they're great minis, but they use a rotten plastic. This is why you pay extra for the GW stuff. Now, now, granted, they have not knocked it home with 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 their pricing, with their rules, and everything that they've done. But I, you know, I see a turnabout with them. And Tom made a very good point uh, the other day when he said, "Hey, I see probably in the year or two that these guys just going strictly back to board games, and you know, of course they'll have 40k and fantasy." But they are really going to come back and sure what's the first thing that they're going to go after? Probably the greatest cult game of all time, which is Blood Bowl, which I can't wait to get my hands on. Um, even though I have my special edition, I think it would be really, really great to have that. So there you go. Um, any questions while I got these guys out? No, I'm, I'm going to try a couple things with the camera, and I'm going to try to. I'm not going to put it up, but well, I love Bullet Bowl as well. Um, Haha, ha, crazy bent on your mind's not, or not that bent. <laughs> eh, well, see, these aren't mine. They're Tom's. <laughs> and Tom doesn't mind if they're bent. He's just going to throw these in the box anyways. I'm going to pack them all nice, and then we're going to... I gave my edition of the game away in college. Shame on you. But um, I think Friday night I'm going to try to, um, probably Friday afternoon, I'm going to do that paint through with the aliens and the predators. I've, I'm going to have a good solid game plan and I'm going to come up with it and really get, get to it. Um, you know, I... I I don't even know if I, it's a funny thing. Like my Imperial Assault is half painted. Everybody else's is painted. My Rum and Bones, that's another thing I'm going to do. Uh, next week, I'm going to be doing the final on Rum and Bones. Um, so that's one I want to get done. Um, because I just don't like having all these things uh, open. Um, I had a couple of these videos that I started. And then there you go. Those, those lovely minis are destined for sandwich bags. You aren't kidding. Look, this is what he keeps them in. <laughs> He's got them all separate. Here's the, here's the sandwich bags to prove it. <laughs> wow. Nah, that doesn't, it, it really doesn't bother me as long as he uh, enjoys it. They are re uh, releasing Blood Bowl again. Um, first quarter 2016. I don't know to what extent, how many teams. Show us TI3, please. It would take me forever to dig it out, and I unfortunately, I just don't have time. Um, question, did you paint that all in one sitting? Uh, two sittings. Um, I, I can paint pretty quickly. 
um, if I have a game plan or I've done something or I, you know, I have like, like on the back here, if I have a blueprint, uh, hopefully this doesn't fuzz out like this guy here, I have the blueprint. So how do I get as close as I can to that? Well, I do. And then, you know, I'll just mow right through him. But while I'm painting one color, I'll see how many of those colors I have to, do you use the dip? No, not at all. Not at all. Um, like if I see a lot of brown on it, I'll paint the whole thing brown and then build out from there. Um, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll use the, um, oh, excuse me, a primer of brown and build from there. So there you go. Um, I promise you Friday I'll take the T, uh, TI3 out. I think you guys will like it. Army painter dip process. No, I, no, I've never done that. I've never even heard of it. Um, I'll look it up, and but no, definitely uh, it's all hand painted with this brush and this brush until it it peters out. These are my two brushes that I pretty much use, and uh, I can mow through it. Let's see. Um, I promise you, if you tune in on Friday. Uh, I will go through the TI3. I, I just don't have the room on the table right now. There is a ton of stuff on here that I have all kind of scattered out between uh, Dungeon Saga and um, Three Blood Rages and Fifth Player Expansions and Alien vs. Predator and all that kind of good stuff. Um, I think for my edition, um, like everybody likes this guy here and they like to do him with the with the black yeah I, oh oh i get what he means i'm so sorry basically you block paint then dip them in like shading oh i'm sorry i didn't understand that fyi i really enjoyed your manic dungeon saga video thanks a lot i re that that really means a lot uh i use washes and i use a wash brush that um I will I will work it into the creases or the um, like for this particular guy. If you notice, see how this muscle structure is, and um, and how it all is. I will work the wash in there so it gets in there real well, and then I'll use a little paint over it. I'll take the basic uh, layer paint and go over it and highlight the muscle a bit. Um, Ba, ba, ba. Rob uses washes. Basically, you block paint, then dip. Yeah, pretty much. Thanks uh, so much for the dungeon side. I think you're going to enjoy um, um, what I'm going to do with these guys. Uh, I'm going to really knock those out. And I'm looking forward to showing you guys how I do furniture. So that's going to be some fun. Um, but I will, I promise, I will show that three. Twilight Imperium. What a monster that was because I did all the expansions with it as well. Ugh. Um, the next thing I'm looking at is Tail Feathers. Uh, I've got more Blood Rage. For those of you, how do you get your wife to let you sit and paint? Um, it makes her happy for me not to be anywhere near her after, after all these years. Kidding. <laughs> No, actually, she knows how much I enjoy it. I, I make sure that I take a certain amount of time. Like, she gets tired at a certain part of the night, or um, and she will just crash. So I'll come out here, you know, like um, for me, which would be about, you know, 10, 11 o'clock at night, and I'll paint till like 2 in the morning and get most of it done. Played Dungeon Saga over Christmas. We had great fun. Simple game, but a lot of tactical decisions. See, that's what, what I'm hoping it is. But they were supposed to have my uh, adventurer's companion because I wanted to do the cooperative with the kids. And it still hasn't come out from cool stuff. It has at an, an Miniature Market. So it, it, I talked to them. It's just kind of strange. You know, it's pretty much just the way it goes, I guess. Well, I wanted to do this. And I wanted to make it a quick video. Um, got your copy, Pete. <laughs> uh, but uh, 
I want to thank you guys for tuning in and taking a look at these guys. Um, these guys are done. I'm going to clear coat them very quickly and then let them dry, put them away, get them in my car because tomorrow uh, I'm going to take my camera with me and I'm going to film my home journey down to the dice tower. I am not going to bring my, my camera into the dice tower because, you know, I just like to keep his house private you know and i just don't think that's really cool uh i'm going to be eating meeting up with eric sumner uh, at the hotel i think we're going out to dinner tomorrow night uh with tom and jason then uh 10 o'clock thursday morning only got the base game like rob waiting for the adventures companion can you put the troll in view yeah sure i can do that bum, 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 bum. There he is. And he's all set there. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to have a pretty good time. Um, you know, the four hours down, staying overnight, you know, especially with the 24-hour thing, I want to be fresh. Oh, thank you so much, Christian. Uh, I want to be fresh for it, so that's why I'm going to stay in a hotel tomorrow night. Um, but you know, all in all, my wife, she really is a saint and, um, uh, she really is understanding. Uh, here's one of the, uh, the gods I want to show you guys. There we go. Um, and, uh, you know, she just understands this is important to me and, uh, the channel's growing. We're really excited about it. And, um, you know, we're almost to 1,100 people. I, you know, I'm kind of curious what we'll do this year. I hope uh, I really can get it going and make it successful. And like I said, we're here to help people, have a lot of fun. Um, the kids are willing to help, uh, especially do. We're gonna do a lot more live stuff, um, and this way we can keep you guys uh, very involved. I'm not gonna flock them. Um, I've seen because the plastic's so soft on the bottom. Um, Anytime you flock them, it, it, it almost cracks. I did it for one set, and they were taking the things on and off, these little round things here, and it really turned out to be a problem for them because these things actually go on the bottom here like so. And what happens from taking them on and off that they really, uh, they really get bent up. Very nice water effect, Rob. Really gets out. Yeah, thanks so much. Um, yeah, I really worked on those. These, no, because, again, they get handled a lot. Um, if you even notice on this, I made sure that I left it so that thing goes right over the top there and uh, will really not mess with with that particular thing um, with, if I, if, um, with ruining the paint. So thanks so much for tuning in today. That's about it for me, guys. Um, next time you see me, uh, it will be on the Dice Tower, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time to 10 a.m. Uh, uh, that Friday. So we're doing 24 hours. Uh, I hope you guys get to tune in and watch it. Uh, hold on, Rob. Have you ever painted Descent 2? If so, you find it a bit difficult to this size. No, um, I'm going to be doing mine um, very soon. And uh, I'm going to make that. I need to get clear of all this auction stuff and and um, stuff for, um, for charity. Once I get clear of that and I take a little bit of breather, I want to concentrate on you guys uh, seeing more on the channel as far as us doing playthroughs and stuff like that. And then I'm going to really, really um, make everything live shows um, because they go up anyways. They don't come down, I don't think. I don't believe so. They're, they're permanent, they permanently stay up here. So um, uh, I, I really think um, we're going to do a lot more live stuff. And uh, 
generate viewers and so forth because people like stuff live you can ask questions you could become very involved and that's the main thing that i want to do about with this channel is do more live events because it brings you guys into the channel again i don't want to make this channel about me this is about what we can do and all the stuff that you guys can learn and so forth and so on uh let me just answer a couple questions here uh, thanks, Rob. Continue your success to you. Thank you, Family Showdown. Glad I made it to the, the live show. Crispin, thanks for coming by. Um, I promise you there'll be a lot more. Look for one Friday. I'm going to see how I feel, and I will schedule it the minute I get home, which will probably be 2 Eastern. So um, I'll probably do it Saturday morning for like four hours, which I think that's all it'll take me to do all these aliens and predators and the uh, – the uh, army guys. Um, let's see. Glad I made it to the live show. Would love to see that. Good. Thanks, Rob. Beautiful work. Thank you, Zoltan. You are our rule god on Saturday nights. We're, we're glad to have you. Um, we're glad that you guys uh, come and watch the live uh, live stuff and uh, just just support the channel. And it, it, like I said, it, it's everything to me. It's not about having a million people. It's about having good quality people. And I think I have that in you guys. And thank you so much for supporting me. So with that said, um, we'll see you Thursday morning uh, or whenever you guys can pop in. Um, believe me, I'm going to what? Okay, hold on. I'm going to ask one more uh, answer. One more. What's more? What's what more time intense for you hitting the gym or painting? Um, the gym's easy. It's four o'clock AM every, every day. So it is the, it's part of my routine. It's part of my life. I think more, I, I put more into painting because I get very focused. I'm going to hit the gym right now. There you go. Um, you know, always keep yourself healthy. That's the most important thing in life. Um, you know, good health to all of you. Um, you know, this year we've seen a lot of people when, you know, we've lost a lot of people and, um, you know, I, I'm talking to a lot of people that have, that have been hurting this year. And, uh, you know, like I say, I try to keep myself he healthy because that way I can help more people the more time I'm around. And with all the help that you guys give me, uh, you have no idea how thankful I am for that. I couldn't do half of what I do if it wasn't for you guys. So with that said, there you go. That's everything here. I'm going to get this all. You'll actually see this very, very clearly. Uh, I saw Tom's camera work. Um, we're really going to do this. And um, I think you guys will like to see this. It'll be a lot more clear on Thursday. So hope to see you there. Um, and thanks so much. We'll see you guys soon. And thanks for tuning in.